Plastic has been a defining material for our modern society due to its wide range of shapes, properties and applications. Plastics can be produced at low cost with limited use of energy or precious resources, and they combine high strength with a light weight. This makes plastics in principle a material of choice for many future applications. Plastics are generally classified into thermoplastics and thermosets according to their response to heating. Thermoplastics become liquid or plasticize upon heating and harden again upon cooling, which can be repeated in multiple cycles. Chemically, thermoplastics comprise of linear polymer chains associated by transient intermolecular forces which can weaken upon heating to form a viscous liquid. This behaviour is highly beneficial for the production of plastic objects in various shapes, but it also allows simple recycling of plastic materials. By collecting, sorting and cleaning plastic refuse, a new raw material becomes available which can be melted, pelleted and remoulded into new objects and applications. Such intrinsically recyclable plastics include PET, polypropylene, polyethylene, PVC and polystyrene. One of the main uses of thermoplastics is in packaging or single-purpose short lifespan applications. Thermosets have a completely different set of properties and can mostly be found in more durable applications where long-term structural integrity is important. Thermoset materials include epoxies and polyurethanes, or PU, and can be found in electric vehicles, in wind turbine blades, and in your furniture. In contrast to thermoplastics, thermosets never melt or weaken upon heating. This is because the chemical makeup of thermosets is very different. Polymer chains are not simply held together by weak intermolecular forces, but also by strong chemical bonds formed during a curing step, resulting in a rigid network structure. When heated to very high temperatures, thermosets will only degrade or pyrolyze. Thermosets are sorted out mainly to avoid contamination of thermoplastic waste streams. The problematic recycling of end-of-life thermosets could be resolved by the introduction of dynamic or reversible covalent bonds. These bonds ensure the long-term structural integrity of a polymer network, but upon heating, the bonds can be temporarily released or exchanged between chains, resulting in plasticity, repairability and recyclability. Such materials are designated as covalent adaptable networks or CANs. These have been heavily researched in the last decade and the technology is now finding its way into its first applications. Covalent adaptable network materials based on the unique reactivity of 1,2,4-triazoline-3,5-dione-TAD components were developed by the University of Ghent. TAD-based molecules are synthetic substances that are very reactive towards a wide range of chemical handles that can be incorporated into polymer chains. Of particular interest here is the reactivity towards indoles, chemical building blocks that are also commonly found in nature, such as in the plant-derived dye that is used to colour your blue jeans. The bond-forming reaction between TAD and indole is very rapid and proceeds upon simple mixing at room temperature. More importantly, the bonding of TAD to indole can be easily reversed upon heating and the temperature at which this happens can be controlled and tailored for applications between 40 and 140 degrees Celsius. For the design of polyurethane cans, Ghent University developed TAD indole based comonomers. These innovative comonomers can be incorporated into existing PU thermoset formulations using classical isocyanate and polyol chemistry. The gelation of TAD to indole within seconds and curing within minutes as can be seen by the transition from the red colour to orange. A visible scratch was made on this TAD indole doped PU material 
and it was subsequently subjected to heating to 120 degrees Celsius for one hour, after which the material was visibly healed. In another test, the Tad Indole PU material was broken into smaller pieces and put into a mould under pressure for 30 minutes at 120 degrees Celsius. A pristine material was retrieved from the mould after cooling. This test was repeated seven times, preserving the mechanical properties of the polyurethane. In contrast to formulations without the Tad Indole crosslinks, the material can thus be repaired, reprocessed and recycled. The introduction of dynamic covalent bonds in flexible polyurethane foam is currently being investigated as part of the Pure Smart project, with the goal of achieving PU foam mattresses that have enhanced intrinsic reprocessing and recycling properties.